Hello friend, welcome back. In your previous video, I have already discussed about that arrow functions. I hope you can well understand about it, how that arrow functions work. So now in this video, I want to discuss about that this keyword. So what exactly that this keyword? So that is very much common one of the things we use a lot of the time, right? And that means this. So what exactly that this? So this is actually the one of the reference. That is one of the media reference. So better I want to show you, then it should be very much clear to you. Like here, first of all, I want to do, I want to create another file. So here I create another file and I just click as a save as and I just name it as a this.js. Okay. So into this our JS file area, I want to do and to first of all take one of the constant. Okay, I just take one of the constant and I just name it as a mango. I just name it as a mango. That is our constant, and here I take one of the variable as a mango, and then I want to do I want to um, add some of the property. Like I just take one of the property as a color color property and color property will be as a whatever you want so make the things i just define as a yolo okay i just make that things as a yolo and then i take another property as a price that means this mango price so for this price i want to put some of the value it should be as a 120 dollar okay so this type of one of the value and then also i take another one as a weight so weight another property and I declared that property value as a 120 and now I want to take another um, another property as a about okay I just take another property as a about and into this property area I want to add one of the function okay I just take one of the function so that is our function into the function area so they have the two things like here, if you put anything in particular that area, it should be in our this constant area. And also that is our another part that is will be our this function area, right? So that will be our this function area and that will be our total constant area. So now I want to do um, like here. So now in particular that area I want to return some of the value. So I just simply added the return. Okay, return and return. I want to do and to put as a mm, like this. Okay, this mango price is and now I want to display our this property. That means this price property. So after this, here with our single quote into the single quote area, I want to do and to pass our this price with the double plus and then our property. So I just simply pass our property at this amount so that will be as a usd so i just name it as a usd okay so that will be as a usd and now i want to do i want to um, pass it so that means in our console into the console log into the console log area i take our variables or variable as a mango so now i just simply pass our mango and into the mango area i have already created one of the property as a about so now i just simply pass that our about and then that is our function so i just simply added our about function on here okay so now what exactly it should be do like here if you now click as a save all and now if you run it again so that will be our this right this dot js now click as a enter and here it's showing as an unexpected identifier unexpected identifier you can see i didn't add that comma so that means that there is our property there is our another one so you have you have to add that comma now click as a save all okay I just click as a save all and now let's check this out again i just run it click the enter now you can see friend now it's showing as a price is not defined that means this price is not defined that means here i have already called one of the property as a price but this property is not actually getting in our particular this function area right because of all it doesn't recognize that is our this same constant area that is our same constant area but here i have already declared another function so for the reasons you can see it's now showing our this error as a price is not defined okay so if you want to pass our this constant area that means this constant area property in our this function area then you have to do you have to pass that things with our this media okay 
so as i told you it will be one of the reference so now i want to do i want to pass our this on here that means this our price so when you use that this that means automatically it should be passed some of the information it should be passed some of the references that is in our the same constant okay so for now if you click as a save all and now if you run it again so now i just simply run it again click as enter yes you can see friend now it's appropriately display our this mango price is our this property value as a 120 you can see that is actually our price so now it's perfectly visible our 120 usd okay friends so i think you can well understand about it so this is used for one of the reference so that means the reference media so it's now reference your this property that means this property in our same constant area so for the reasons you can see we can actually pass that information without this and also if you want to make that things little bit easier way then also because of all right now we are using our es6 okay into the us6 they have also another features like better i want to do and to make the things as a comment out okay you can also display another way like here you can display with our back code i just simply do first of all that return and return our back code that is our shift and then our left side button of the one okay so that is our back code and with the back code right now i want to put the same message as a this mango okay this mango better i want to make as a mango price is and now i want to do and to put our um, this variable that means our property so that is our property if you want to display that property into the back code area then you have to do you have to make the things with our dollar okay that means the dollar sign and with the dollar sign then the curly bracket and with the curly bracket here you have to pass your whatever the variable you want to pass like if you want to pass that color so better i want to pass that color right now okay that means the mango color so i just put as a name as a mango color is our color so and also here we have to do the same thing so here we have to also pass that reference with our media that means this that means this our color okay that means our this property and this color name i just name it as a name for education purpose so with this back code we can also um, display it so here we don't need to use that plus and also that is our single code okay so here you don't need to use it so here you have to add that our dollar and then our scully bracket and then that is our this our color so our color property i just simply pass it now let's check this out if you click the save all and now if you run it again click the enter yeah you can see it's not perfectly display as a this mango color is yolo name okay so that is actually our property value as a yolo so now it's perfectly getting that name so friend i think you can well understand about it why you should use that this so with this you can actually pass your ref references to the function that is in our appropriate same console area okay so with this you can actually pass your property in particular that position i hope it's very much clear to you in our next video, I want to do and to discuss about that object and the class. So how can working with this in our next video? I will show you that things with a live example. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.